Hi, my name is Larisa and if you are new to my channel, welcome! If you already saw one of my videos, I'm very happy that you are back again and I would like to take the opportunity to wish you all a very happy new year and may 2020 grant you all that you wish and may you achieve your goals in health and happiness. Ta-da! Here it is, the new Natasha Denona Mini Glam Palette. I'm always very excited when Natasha Denona releases one new palette, independently of the size. I love the, the formulas of the mattes, of the metallics, and all the dual chromes and chroma crystals and so on. And I think that her color stories are always so special. They are extremely pleasing to me. So when I saw this one, I just had to have it. Despite that it's now only available in her site and uh, the shipping from United States to here in the UK um, through her site is not fast or inexpensive. But here it is, and in this video I'm going to swatch it, compare it with other palettes that I have. I'm going to apply it on me in two different looks, and finally I'm going to give you um, my final thoughts on it. So if you are interested, just keep on watching. This mini palette is like the previous uh, mini palettes from Natasha Denona. It comes in this cardboard box with the indication of the name and formula of the eyeshadows in the back. It's produced without parabens in Italy. It has a shelf life of two years after open and uh, each eyeshadow has a weight of 0 0.8 grams or 0 0.028 ounces. I'm going to show you now swatches of the shadows and tell you what is the formula, as well as some comparisons. Golden Flesh is a metallic eyeshadow and is a mixture of gold and bronze um, that makes it look like an antique gold. This one is already an existing shade on the 28 eyeshadow palette, the green-brown one. This lighter one is a cream to powder eyeshadow. It's really very creamy. It's called Arlo and it's a cool tone transition shade. The middle one is called Anjou, Angel. And it's a metallic eyeshadow. It's a gray brown, taupey kind of color, and it's a new shade. This medium cool tone brown is a creamy matte, and it's an already existing shade. It's on the Biba palette. Seed, it's the name. And I'm very happy that is repeated on the Mini Glam because this brown together with the Tusk uh, transition shade and this one called Freckle is, are probably the eyeshadows from the Biva palette that I use the most. And finally we have a metallic eyeshadow. Uh, this one is called uh, Faye and it's described by Natasha Denona as a cool tone champagne. Now I have to say that although this looks definitely a more cool tone palette, especially if we compare it with the mini nude, and I'm going to show you a photo of the swatches of both side by side, uh, I still find it a uh, more neutral leaning that really a cool tone palette, which I think is very flattering. Definitely Natasha Denona favors uh, more warm tone eyeshadows, 
but the fact that she has placed this one on the market it's very good <laughs> if we compare the transition shade of the mini glam with the with the biba you will see that they are very different the mini glam is definitely not cooler the um, the transition shade from the um, the Biba palette it has more pink in it while the one from Mini Glam is a more beige eyeshadow. Here it's the metallic champagne from the Mini Glam and here is Monroe from the Biba. Again Monroe is has more pink in it and Shine also from Biba Faye from the Mini Glam is definitely closer to Shine from Biba but um, Shine is a deeper shade it has a little bit more orange in it on the Metropolis palette if we compare Faye with Queen which is the lighter metallic here on the corner Queen is definitely lighter. It has less gold and uh, less orange in it. Doesn't shine as much as well. And in terms of bronze shades, so I'm going to swatch Golden Flash. This one is definitely the warmer from the Mini Glam. It has an orange base. And I'm going to swatch noble from the metropolis which is this bronze shade here and it's also has a warm base but it's green and uh, the shade shield which is also a metallic it's even greener all the other ones are very different i think comparing the mini glam with the gold palette the only shade I see any similarity is on this one. This metallic is called Varis and swatching the golden flesh close to it. They are the same type of shades. They both have an orange base but the Varis shade has more brown in it. It's a little bit deeper. Comparing it with the mini gold, the only shade that I see similar might be the, the transition shade. This is very badly swatched, but I think you will be able to see. This one is from the mini glam and this one is from the mini, mini gold. Well, as you can see they are different. And finally, comparing it with the mini star, they are very different and the brown from the mini star is lighter than the brown from the mini glam i'm not even going to swatch that and here you can see the mini nude uh, side by side with the mini glam and um, we can clearly see that the mini nude is much warmer than the mini glam These were the comparisons that I made between the Mini Glam and the other palettes from Natasha that I own. And now I'm going to show you the two looks that I've made until now. I'm going to start by applying a little bit of primer on my eyelids. So now I'm going in with um, this lighter uh, shadow all over my eyelid with a fluffy brush and you can see this shadow is this eyeshadow I'm sorry it's almost the color of my skin I'm just applying it loosely and go now I'm going to apply with my finger this um, light champagne on the inside of my eye and now I'm going to use a flat shader and I'm going to apply this um, metallic like khaki brown shade on the corner 
on the outside corner, I'm sorry. And I'm patting it on top of the champagne one to make uh, the transition a little bit more smoother. I'm going to apply a little bit here as well. I'm going to use a smaller fluffy brush and I'm going to just pat very lightly here on the dark brown and just intensify the outside corner. I'm going to return to the bigger fluffy brush. I'm going to sweep a little bit of the light color just here on the border to make sure everything is blended and I'm going to use the flat shader once more and I'm going to just apply a little bit of the dark brown above my eyelashes to work as a liner I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back this is the final look I've placed Chanel Steel U waterproof in uh, Bron Agape in my waterline. Uh, on my cheeks, I've placed the Tom Ford glow stick in Soleil Neige. And on my lips, I have a crazy mixture of a lip liner from Victoria Beckham, the number two. I have Natasha Denona I Need a Nude and this is the Neutral Beige Claudia and in the center of my lips I have Charlotte Tilbury Superstar Lips and this is the shade Super Sexy which is kind of a peachy rose shade and I've placed it only in the center of my lips to give it a little bit more vibrancy and shine. I'm going to show you now the, the other look I mentioned. For this look I've placed the lightest matte eyeshadow on, the, on my crease. Then I placed this bronze metallic shadow all over my eyelid. Um, on the outside corner I place this slightly darker one called Anjou. I use the dark brown as um, eyeliner on the top eyelashes and below and I smoked it out with a pencil and then I place this metallic eyeshadow called Faye in the inside corners and I like it very much very sultry so what are my final thoughts on this palette well I wholeheartedly recommend it if you already know Natasha Denona eyeshadows you will not be disappointed and uh, if you want to have an opportunity to get to know and see what the hype is all about this is a perfect way to start and the mattes and metallics that are in this mini palette are totally representative of what her eyeshadows are about I think also that like all the mini palettes they are perfect for to change from a day work look to a night out and they are great for traveling as well um, because they are very versatile it's only a question of finding the mini palette that has the color story that uh, you want before finishing this video I have two topics I would like to speak with you first is regarding um, best favorites of 2019 I don't think it makes much sense to do a best of 2019 when I have had this channel only for the last three and a half months but I can definitely do uh, if you would like a favorites my favorites of 2019 even if I don't have in the channel a review on the product 
or Prova. I wanted to get to know the, the tool that YouTube made available for us to place a poll to you. So, so here, <laughs> in this corner, you can click on yes or no. And if you click on yes, you will tell me that yes, you would like uh, to see my favorites from 2019. If you think that's okay, uh, we just want to see reviews from you from new products or s new things, just click on no, no problem at all. I just want to see how the tool works and I want to do that video, I will have no issue whatsoever if you really want to see it. The second thing is that I'm very happy <clears throat> and I want to thank you um, because I have reached the first landmark here on YouTube. I have now uh, 100 subscribers, 108 actually. I know this compared to some channels uh, it's a drop of water in the bucket but I'm just starting and I want to commemorate so, and thank you obviously my subscribers so I would like to give you a souvenir from me it's I, I would not even call it a giveaway it's a souvenir that I want to give to one of you I would like to give this Chantecai special edition um, highlighter. This is the one that they made to, together with the Gournay. I have a new one, this new one, that I would like to give to one of you. Because YouTube does not allow private messages, um, the only thing I ask is obviously that you are subscribed to my channel and that you follow me on Instagram. Leave your handle, your Instagram handle on the messages down below. And uh, on Sunday, Sunday the 5th, I will randomly choose the one that will get this highlighter. It doesn't matter where you are. I will get in contact with you through Instagram and uh, I will ship it to you. And that's it from this video. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you soon. Bye!